I was talking with him and I, I thought, why do they need to specify exploring theology or Wesleyan political theology, not just do it from a Methodist perspective, but sitting here, it kind of made sense because I think you can have a Methodist who, I guess there's not really an institutional kind of way that the church maybe approaches a lot of issues. You can have very different, I guess, kind of theological backings for certain political ideas based off of where you come from in the Methodist church. So I guess my question is, why do you, is it, do you feel that the church has kind of gotten away from a, a Wesleyan political theology, or why is there a need to specify that? I'm just saying this is the Methodist political. Yeah, I mean, the term Wesleyan encompasses a, a, a tradition that is larger than, than the term Methodist, um, and much larger than the term United Methodist. I'm, I'm assuming that's what you meant by the church? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, I mean, we have Wesleyan brothers and sisters in the Church of Nazareth, <laughs> Free Methodists and the Wesleyans and the AME and the Salvation Army. There's a, there's a there's a whole group of denominations that would fall under the banner Wesleyan, and they they, they trace their heritage back to him in the same way that, that those of us in the in the United Methodist Church would do. So that's that's one of the reasons I use that. The other reason I actually well, given the given turmoil in United Methodism. The term Wesleyan helps us kind of step away from it yes. and look more at the origins of the movement. Um, that, you know, I, who knows what's going to happen at General Conference in May. The term United Methodist might be completely gone, if not in practice, then in, in reality. So, um, so that would be another reason I would, I would stay away from it. But I think a pan-Methodist or Wesleyan approach is, is useful to understand the whole the whole movement. Um, yeah, think of the World Methodist Council. There are, what, 70 million Methodists in the world now? Something like and 60 or, 60 or 70 million. Out of those, uh, what is it, 11 million United Methodists? 12, 12 or 13 globally. 12 or 13? 12 or 13 million. So that, that, that gives you an idea numerically why we would small. also do that. Yeah. And I think for, mainly with my work, the Ted's work, we're, we focus on early Methodism most of the time anyway, well before the United Methodist Church existed. So, does that help? Oh,